In order to get to blogger.com, you need to have a Google account. And if you're a student, you have a Google account. Um, it's the same as your Dmail account. So you would use your Dmail ID and your Dmail password to log in, and it'll act the same as a Gmail account. I'm using a Gmail account here, which is already established here. This is my, uh, my Gmail uh, address. And so I'm going to log in. And you can find this login at gmail.com. Uh, at blogger.com, any kind of Google access, you'll be able to get to this uh, screen or screen that looks like this. Um, yours, if you don't have a Gmail account already set up, won't look like this because um, you're not me. Um, and it'll ask you a few more questions before you get to a screen where you can actually log in. But it'll just take you a few moments to go through and get that set up. But like I say, if you have a Gmail account, you're already in. So I'm going to sign in here. And this is going to take me someplace I don't want to go. Um, where I do want to go, though, is blogger.com. And it'll come up with um, the main blogger interface or the, the home page, the landing page for blogger.com. Now, I have a number of blogs that I have created, and I use a blog for a lot of the classes that I teach. These are just a few of them here that you're seeing. If you have not created a blog, your screen will not have all this. In fact, this area here will be blank. Okay. Um, but you will have this new blog button over here, and I want you to um, hit that button. And it'll come up with this dialog box that says create a new blog. And here is where you would title the blog, and then you would create the address or the URL for your blog. And then you can go through and create, uh, you can choose a template, how you might want to have that blog look. So we're going to start off here. One thing I'm going to ask you as students to do is to use your name in the title. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, my name, and obviously not the words my name. Use your name, okay, your first and last name. And then if you're taking um, whatever class you're taking from me, use com and then uh, the nomenclature for that class. So, for example, we're going to use this for new social media. Uh, com3480 is what I'm going to create there. For the address, I'm going to see if, if, if that my name, uh, let's say 3480, is available. So as I type that in, you see it automatically defaults to the stem here of .blogspot.com. If I click on that, it'll, it'll show me if it's available, and it is. The address is available. And at that point, I'm, I'm good to go. I can select then a template. But let me, before we leave this area, if you put your name in there and then the class numbers, 3480 or 3530 for digital photojournalism, uh, 3560 uh, uh, for Viscom, um, chances are that combination with your name will be available here, okay, and you're good to go. So of the templates here, uh, you're free to choose whatever one you want. This uh, The picture window template and gets into a variety of templates has a, a background a photograph that you can actually change. You can manipulate that and create something that is pretty uniquely your own. The dynamic views... Um, setting is uh, is an interesting type of, of uh, way to format a blog. It's dynamic, as the term uh, entails. It can be set up in a number of different uh, ways. You can play around with that and see. Um, I'm just going to go with simple here just to begin with. Uh, nothing fancy, but to show you how to go through and proceed from here. So by, collecting, uh, by clicking on simple, then I'm going to go to create blog, this uh, orange box down here. I'm going to click on that. And it will come up then with the blog. And you see it fading in. Here is a new blog. And it has a little dialog box here, kind of a, a, a hint, uh, where we, if you want to start posting, we can click there on Start Posting. Um, the more you use this, though, and when you come into this interface, this will be the, the, the posting icon for you to get into. And what I mean by a post is what you're actually going to put on your blog. And over the course of your classes with me, I'll be coaching you along as to what assignments need to be posted on your blog. So when I say post that on your blog, you will go to this dashboard, you'll log in, it'll default to this, it'll have your blog right here, and then you'll click on this, and it'll come up into um, what it, Blogger calls its dashboard. Actually, here, what we're in is an editor, okay? This is a word processor, if you will, and uh, we can start typing. <laughs> uh, start, there you go. We can put in our content. We can go find other content. We can copy that content and paste it into here. We can grab images. We can do all kinds of things. 
Um, this is not a bad word processor. It has uh, all the tools that you might be looking for, so you can write right into this, or you can go to uh, another uh, source where you might have already written your content and copy that content and paste it into here. While I'm talking about that, uh, let me show you something b before I move on to how to in, uh, how to put a photograph or image in here. I'm going to go to um, a blog here that I keep, and I'm just going to go and copy some text. I'm going to couple a, copy a couple of uh, paragraphs here. So I've highlighted that. I'm going to go Control C on my Mac, copy that. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to paste that uh, copy now into the post itself. So I pasted it in. And if you see, it's posted not just the content, but it's also posted um, all of the code that goes along to format that content. All right. If I go to HTML, we can see that code that's in there. And that's a lot of code, really. And sometimes Blogger doesn't do well. Now that I've come back, it's dropped a couple of code lines there. So now I've lost my formatting. So the reason why I'm showing you this is if you decide to copy text and paste it into your blog post, you want to take, you want to select that text. I hit a, a Command A or Control All to select that text. And then I'm going to go to this icon right here, the capital T that's underlined and italicized with the red X. And you see it says remove formatting. If I click on that, it actually removes any embedded um, code inside how that text was formatted from, from the blog or the source that I drew it from. Now, any changes I make here uh, will directly reflect um, how it will look. What you see is what you get here, which is good. That's what you want to have happen. Now, what you're seeing here is a block style uh, formatting, and this is how I want you to format your blogs, okay? Single space uh, block paragraphs with no indent with a space in between each paragraph as it goes. If you want to see what this looks like, I'll go to preview. And boom, there it is. Um, you see how it's set up there. Now, I don't have a title set up in this. I'll come back and show you uh, how to do that. Preview gives you a chance to take a look at how the blog is going to look. I'm a very visual guy, so I always like to see uh, what's going on. And as a side note, over here, um, Blogger automatically puts in uh, what you might have established uh, in your Gmail account or identity in the About Me area. It automatically puts that in there. Um, I take this out. Uh, and you might want to take yours out or keep it up. It's up to you. Um, let me go back to the main area though, where, we, where we were working. Now let's say um, I want to now add a photograph in here and I want to put it in between these two paragraphs. Um, there are a number of ways I can do that. The first thing we need to do is, is position where we want the image to go. And then I'm going to go to this icon, which is the picture icon. And it shows you that you can select a file from a number of different areas. So, uh, I'm going to upload one from my desktop, but I can go from, if I happen to have other images on the blog, if I have images uh, on Picasso web albums uh, that are online, from my phone, from a webcam, from the camera that's right built into my uh, laptop or my computer, or even from a URL, I can I can copy the URL of another image and, and then paste that in. Maybe I'll do that. We'll show you uh, how that works. But first off, uh, I'm going to show you how to upload one right from your desktop. So I'm going to go choose files. It has opened my desktop here, okay? And I think I have one here called Happy Dogs. There it is. And my, these are my uh, two lovely creatures, Marianne and Ginger. It'll As I click on that, it uploads it. This will take a minute to upload. It's a, a medium-sized type of image. And you can see the progress bar is uh, build as it gets to the point. And it's uploaded when it is. Uh, it, you start to see it. And then if I select it, the blue box comes up. By selecting that, then it's ready to be embedded into the image. So I'm going to click Add Selected, remembering that I've already have a spot there in where it's going to go. Well, it didn't go there, but we, we can change it. I can move it. I can actually take this now and move it <laughs> in the blog, theoretically. I'm not going to worry about it for now. But let me show you how to format this. Okay, um, th There's the image. I want the image to be larger, in fact, extra large will go to the actual parameters of the column of the page that I might be posting in. So there it is. Oh, and I want to, let's put a title for this. Uh, we'll call this My Lovely Dogs. 
Now, if I want to see how this looks, I can click Preview, and it'll come up. And you'll see that I have some formatting issues going on, that this is actually now encroaching on the right gutter side. And it's because I haven't set anything up here yet for this. Uh, you can see the photograph is also centered. I might want to put that left uh, in order to come under what's happening here. And I can make some of these changes. If I go back, I'm going to click out of preview. And uh, I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to go publish on this. And then I'm going to come down here to template. Now, where I am, by the way, is the actual uh, blogger dashboard in a way. And it, this is where um, I have a number of things I can I can work with from the types of posts that I have, the, the pages. I haven't set up any pages yet. Um, I can get into the stats, who's looking at my blog, um, the, the sources, that type of thing. We won't worry about that so much. Um, I just want to show you how to go through and maybe format this a little bit better. So I'm going to go to template. And in template, I'm going to hit customize. And customize will bring me up then to a new interface that gives me a number of tools. For example, I can change the way the blog looks now with the different types of templates that are available. And you see that reflect here in real time. I'm going to go back to simple, though, because the issue I have here, remember, is, is this bleed over that I have happening here. And I want to separate those two out. And in doing so, I can go to um, these tools here. There's background. And there's adjust widths, there's layout, and then, then we get into advanced. Um, advanced gets into the types of font you want to use, the types of color, a text color, and, uh, and uh, blogger formatting colors that you might have for boxes or backgrounds or things. I'm not going to worry about that for now. I'll let you play around with that. I'm going to go back to just adjust widths, and you see that I have two sliding bars here. One is for the entire blog, and one is for the actual right sidebar. Now, the right sidebar for me is a little too big. I'm going to go through and actually minimize that a bit down. And you see how that changes in real time? Okay. So I'm going to put it right about there. And now I'm going to also, for the entire blog, I'm going to create a little bit more space in here, uh, what we call a gutter, if you will. Okay. That gives me a little bit better margin alongside that. I like the way that looks. Uh, and that being the case, I'm going to go up to here to apply to blog. I click on that, it applies the template, and now I can go back to the blogger and see what's going on. So what we've been able to do here so far, then, is create a post. Um, I've copied uh, some text and I've pasted it in, or obviously we can, we can type that text in that interface. And then I've also uploaded an image here. If I click on the image, it comes more full screen. Uh, I uploaded that image from my uh, desktop. Now it's kind of skiwampish there, so I'm going to go back in and uh, edit this post. And there's a two, couple ways I can do that. One, I can go into design and then find the posts under posts. Or I can simply just go to the bottom of this and hit the edit tool. Once I hit the edit tool, then it takes me right back to the interface that we started with. Um, I click on the image and I'm going to go through and position this left. So just so everything lines up, I'm a little OCD that way. Okay. And let's say I wanted to put in one more image, and I want to take that image from source, say an online source. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to COM3480, which is uh, a blog that I have set up. And let's say this is the image that I want. If I click on that image, uh, it brings it full screen. And if I go go a control click, it'll say copy well, all these offerings here. The one I want is copy image URL. L. And that's what I want to do because this image now has a URL. It doesn't show it up here. And that has me a little suspicious, but um, I'm going to copy the image URL. And then if I go back to where I want to insert it, now at this point, if I go image and from a URL, and I'm going to paste that URL there, there it is. You see the image come up. Uh, and I want to add that image right in that spot. There it is. And say I want to make that uh, extra large as well to fit in with what's going on. Um, I've been able to put that in there. And if we take a look, scroll down, there's the image.